So we took a look at phpMyAdmin and what, what we can do with that. Um, I want to introduce you to another tool as well called uh, MySQL Workbench. And it's a little faster than phpMyAdmin. Uh, you don't have to wait for page loads and, and things like that. Um, we can access all the same databases that we did with phpMyAdmin. Um, and it has a really nice modeling feature where you can actually create diagrams of your tables or of your database schema. So that's really cool as well. So let's go ahead and grab that. Um, I think it's, I'm just going to search for it. Uh, MySQL Workbench Download. And it's available at the dev.mysql.com download section. Um, workbench and utilities. Workbench. Okay, so down here, I'm going to grab the Windows installer. I'm going to say no thanks, just stop my download. Save it. And we want to open this when it's done. or not. So let's go to downloads. Oh, there we go. All right, so we're getting a prompt that says Workbench requires a visual C++ um, redistributable package. Click the download button on the next page. All right, so we got to grab that and we can click this here download prerequisites so you want to make sure you have the um, .NET framework 4 so let's open that up in another tab I forgot all about this that we didn't have this installed so we want to download that I'm going to down here we're going to say no thanks and continue okay so that's the .NET framework we also want to download this um, Visual C++ package. Okay, we'll download that. All right. Let's close that out for now. Okay, so let's run the .NET installation. Okay, so we actually, I already have it installed. Okay, I thought so. So if you don't have it installed, make sure that you install it. All right, so we just want to, we want to run this um, package. Okay, install. All right, so that Visual Studio package has been installed. Now we should be able to go ahead and install Workbench. Keep the default path. And I'm going to keep complete installation. So let's go ahead and finish and launch it. All right, so this gives us basically the welcome page. One second. I'm actually on a virtual machine that only has a gig of RAM, so. I apologize if it's a little slow at times. All right, so we even have a sample database here, um, this Sakila full database, which we can take a look at. Um, but here we have our local instance MySQL. So this is basically going to connect to our local uh, MySQL, and it's asking us to log in as root.
All right, so now you can see, if you look over in this left-hand side here under schemas, you can see all of our databases, uh, including the user's database that we created. Uh, what I'm going to do is minimize this info here, this navigator, uh, by clicking this, this little arrow icon. That way we can have a better view of our databases. So if we say users, we can view different things here. Uh, we want to view the tables, and we have one table, which is the users table. And we can view the columns, which are the columns we created in phpMyAdmin, which is ID, first name, last name, and email. All right, so you can see that this one database is accessible to us uh, through different clients. Uh, so we can work with multiple pieces of software when dealing with our database. All right, so what can we do here? We can run queries right in this file if we want to. All right, so let's, for instance, let's say uh, select all from users. All right, and if we click this little lightning bolt here, uh, it's going to give us this output down here, which is basically telling us the query and how many rows were returned. And in the middle here is our actual rows that got returned. We selected all, all columns in the database, all rows. We haven't really went over queries yet. Um, in this section, I just pretty much wanted to get Workbench installed and just show you the interface. Um, so we're not going to get into that too much now. Uh, the last thing I want to show you is give you show you how we can create um, diagrams of our database, so we can kind of get a, a, a physical uh, structure to it. So what we can do here is we go back to the home screen and. Let's see, we want to go to um, we'll go to new model. Alright, and it's gonna give us uh, a database to start with. We want to use uh, we want to use our users database, which is already created. So we can go to um, database and then reverse engineer. And we'll keep local host and root. Click next. You know, put in your password, which I'm gonna have have it have the program save my password. All right, so it's retrieving schema lists from database. Click next, and now we can select the schemas we want to include, which is going to be our users database or schema. Click next. Okay, it's going to import uh, one table object. And click execute next finish and here's a diagram of our database which isn't much it's just one table with four fields um, but you can see if you, if you have a large database you can have connections and it can show the relationships between tables and it's just a, a really nice feature of workbench and maybe I should actually open up the sample database here and we're not going to save what we just did um, so this here is the sample database, the Sakila full. All right, so we have a couple tables. We have a customer table, address, city, country, and then down here we have a staff table, store, and you can see all these lines uh, are showing how these database, how these tables are related to each other. So this is kind of a big database. The one we're going to be creating isn't going to be as in-depth as this. Um, you can see for instance in the customer table the address is related to the address table. All right, So this address ID is uh, a foreign key on the in for this table. And then um, city all right, is going to the city table and you can tell this pink um, diamond right here just like this address is showing that it's going to the address table countries going to the country table so we're gonna have a similar structure and then same thing down here um, let's see we got manager staff ID which is going over here um, staff ID is going to store ID it looks like 
actually kind of complicated to look at this database. I've never seen it before, so. Um, but it gives you an idea of what you can do as far as modeling. Uh, this is actually called an EER diagram. And we can use this to help plan out our database as well in the, in the next uh, chapter. But I don't want to go too, too far into this. I uh, just wanted to give you an idea of what Workbench can do. All right, so that's it for this section, and I'll see you in the next.